Hey YouTubers, Tom here again. Uh, decided to do another quick video. I don't think this one will be as long as the one the past few that I've done. None of them I think have gone over 15 minutes, but uh, took a look. Today's Friday. Uh, kind of excited. It's Super Bowl weekend. Looking forward to the big game. Gonna say I'll make my pick now. Uh, I'm going for the Giants. Uh, being a Tennessee Titans fan, being in Tennessee. Um, just can't root for the Patriots, I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of Patriot fans out there, but um, I'm going to say the Giants. And I think it's going to be probably probably a three-point game. I'm, I'm maybe, you know, 2017, something like that. Um, that. That's my prediction. You know, if you're a Patriots fan, I'm, for you, I hope I'm wrong. But that said, I decided today to run over to Uptowns here in Nashville. It's a local tobacconist. A lot of you guys know it. If you follow Joe Case, uh, you know, he, he that's his home shop. Uh, Frank, uh, Tobacco Frank, that's his home shop. And of course mine too, uh, with the Nashville Cigar Club. We hang out there quite a bit. And so I ran over there today because I wanted to order a pipe this week, but didn't get to do that. So I'm gonna do not a box opening, but a sack opening. So I guess this will be a, a YASO. Uh, I don't know if that's the pro appropriate term for it, but it's not a box and it's not a, it's a bag, so I guess I could say a Yabo, but uh, let's see what I picked up here. Like I don't know. Uh, First off, I had to get some pipe cleaners, of course. Anytime you stop to pick up stuff from, uh, for, uh, anytime you go to the cigar shop, you always gotta stop and pick those up as well. Uh, one thing I see a lot of you guys doing the, uh, the Swan matches, they actually had them. Uh, they must be magic matches because for $250 a box, a little steep, but um, they're not readily available everywhere. Um, but a lot of you guys use those, so picked up some Swan Vespas. And I grabbed some pipe tobacco while I was there. And this is the Frog Morton uh, on the Bayou. Um, I have a can of On the Town. I haven't had a chance to review it yet. Um, not really going to do a review on this, but I am going to smoke a little bit of it now. So, um, let me open that up real quick. Wow. Now, I haven't smoked a lot of pipe tobacco with Perique in it, and I guess that's what I'm picking up because it's, it's kind of a new scent. Real, it smells really good. I don't know if you can see the tobacco. It's real dark. It's got some red flakes in there. So we'll pop, we'll smoke that here in a second. And grab me a new rubber bit for my pipe that I bought. That's what I went over there for. Let's pull this out. We'll do our opening. This is a uh, an Europe from Denmark. You can see what the logo logo is there. And I haven't done a pipe unveiling, so I wanted something, uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, there we go. I wanted a short, um, stubby pipe. Uh, I got, this one's got a nice silver band on it. A little, uh, marbly looking, uh, uh, I don't know what you really would call that, but that's that's it's got a good deep bowl. Got deep. Mm. It's got a nice draw, so let's put this little condom on here. It's got a nice draw. That's one thing when you go when you go pipe shopping. And of course, if you do it online, or even if you do it in the shop, you can't very well stick it in your mouth and see if it's got a good draw. So you just have to kind of take their word on it. Let's put some of this, uh, fill it up with some of this on the bayou. And with any of the other tobaccos I do, if you've tried this, comment below and let me know. Um, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. Uh, maybe you picked up something that I didn't pick up on it. about doing it with a new pipe 
never know what you're going to get into here. I'm not going to fill it all the way full. So. All right. Let's get this lit up. Hmm. One of the nice things about going with a, I wanted a pipe I could drive around with. My other one, I tried smoking it in a car. And that didn't work out too good. I wanted something with a, more of a rough texture so it's sandblasted I wanted something black and when I found this I got exactly everything I wanted in a pipe I got stubby size um, easy to clinch matches my glasses so I'm accessorizing tobacco Frank had kept saying to head over to uptowns to pick up one of these narrows I'm going to tell you, it's a nice smoking pipe so far, once I get it lit. I'm picking up something different in this. I, I have the, uh, the Frog Morton on the town, and it has uh, more of the little Latakia in it and this one has uh, Parique it says uh, of course they tell it like it's a story it says uh, when vacationing on the bayou Frog Morton prefers prefers this satisfying Balkan pipe tobacco blend to which he adds just enough of Louisiana's own richly fragrant and cool smoking Parique so this is from McClelland, and let me get you a closer look at that can there. It is burning cool. Mm. Nice. Since I've been smoking so much stuff with Lataki in it, uh, I haven't, this is the first uh, tobacco that I've had that's had Perique. And I was told if you if you prefer one, you might not like the other, but um, I don't. I do like it. I mean, it's got a little bit of a, um, it's leathery and not woody, like smoky woody like the Lataki is. It's uh, I'm getting like an apple taste and also the texture on my tongue from it is kind of like it is when you when you eat like an apple or drink apple juice where you get that kind of rough where your tongue gets kind of rough. I'm getting that from it. I'm drinking water today so no coffee this. Alright, try to hit this one more time. And again, I'm not really doing this as a uh, a review. Just more showing the new pipe. Yeah. I really like that little little fancy band. That's kind of nice. So, with that said. Just wanted to pop in, show you the new pipe, and make my Super Bowl Super Bowl prediction, which I've done. So you guys have a good weekend, and I'm gonna finish this pipe.